Hello guys, welcome back. So, we're early May now, um, as you can tell by the weather. Um, the weather's been alright. Um, it's been dry, but also wet. Um, so I'm just a bit really worried about if I do end up mowing and it rains, and it's going to get soaked. Um, I don't really want to be leasing a tether. Um, I hope to buy one at some point, um, but I don't know when that is. So, yeah, um, it's been a bit of mixed weather, but I do believe there is more rain on the way. Sort of the end of the April showers or the spring uh, rain, I guess. Um, so I'll have to put it off for a bit, maybe the end of May, last couple of weeks of May, I'll end up starting uh, mowing. Um, it could be a, an entire blog of mowing and raking, and then the next blog we can do bailing and wrapping. Um, but obviously there won't be a week apart from when I bale and wrap it. Um, as you can see the grass has grown a lot. Um, and so I had to mow this bit. I had to mow a bit there because it was stuck in, uh, sticking out. So I had to use the push mower uh, to get rid of this as well. And there's a weed there, so I just thought I'd get rid of it. I'm probably going to let it rot, um, I don't actually know. Also the wheat, as you can see, is looking perfect. Um, it's the same height as the grass, which I would say is good. Uh, obviously you can, there is a cockerel there, um, you can just barely see him. Um, but he is there. Um, so the grass is definitely long enough now um, that we could get quite a good crop for the first cut, which is what you like. Um, sometimes it can be good, sometimes it can be a bad crop, and then the second cut tends to be either the best or second best cut, and then third cut is just sort of the end of it. But this field has gone on well, so is that. Um, so we will be mowing this one first, and then obviously that one down there. But obviously we have to wait till... Uh, end of summer so about august time september till we can harvest this wheat um but we can wait we've got many things that we could be getting on with so i just have the 8340 here on the header trailer with the header um the header is clean but the trailer isn't uh so i thought i'd just give the trailer a bit of a wash uh, and the 8340 could do with the wash but it's a tractor in the end of the day. Um, it's mainly the tyres area. And there's a bit of dirt in here. And there's a bit at the front here as well. And then I can just jump over here. Get all this cleaned off. Make sure everything's looking clean. That should do it. Um, looking kind of clean, I guess. Um, that looks a bit better. Um, I don't know, just thought I'd give it a bit of a clean. Um, just to make it look a bit more uh, sort of ready, I guess. Or just to make it look a bit nicer um, for when harvest time does come. Now, it's hard to try and reverse this in without hitting the fertilizer spreader. Um, easy to get out, but hard to get in. It is quite a long trailer, so it makes sense. Well, let's drop that off, and obviously, it has to sit out of the shed a bit there. Uh, well, I'll show you what's up at the top yard. Um, not much, but while I'm in the 8340, it'd be a lot quicker. Skid steer hasn't been used much in the winter, um, which probably should have been used a bit more. But I ended up using the 5612. Um, most of the time. I did use a skid steer a bit, um, but not much. Uh, 
So as you can see, the marshal's been put up here. I don't really have a reason why. Uh, just because I thought, you know, to fill in the space, um, I guess. Because the area where the muck uh, sort of pile is, it's quite tight with the counter trigger, so I'm going to try and move it closer and then keep this up here and maybe move the muck up here. I just don't know what I'd put in the uh, sort of muck pit. I could put a grain there. Um, and then sheet it or something. I don't know. Uh, but it's up here for now. Just so we've got something up here, I guess. Um, just to see if I actually like putting stuff up here. Because um, it's not really going to be used that much. Um, I don't really have any other kit. If, say if we had like bigger kit that couldn't go in sheds, could go here. Like corvators and stuff. Um... But yeah, and then the cars, the cars are doing all good. Um, the cars are getting quite big now, so they'll have to be weaned off at some point. Um, but yeah, the Aberdeen Angus cow and a calf, are, I say they're settled in now. Um, they're sort of part of the herd now. Um, at least it looks like it. Um, so I'm hoping that there hasn't been any issues with and fighting and the ball and whatever. Um, obviously, I don't want the uh, bullocks to be getting to the age that they start um, trying to uh, mate with the other cows. Um, I'd like them out of the field before that because um, I don't want them to do it too early. Uh, I want it at the perfect time. Um, so the bull has the job. Um, So yeah, um, so we'll just park this up. And I'll turn that off there. Begins off here. Yeah. So, let's hop over the gate here. I have the right on uh, lawn mower here. I'm just going to mow this area here around the trough because it's looking quite messy. Um, I wanted to clear it up really. Um, so that's lowered, turn it on. And they can, I can either throw it in the trough or let them eat it. Um, but for now I'm just going to leave it just to just really want to tidy it up because it looks quite messy and I don't want it to be messy. Um, I don't know, it just looks a bit sort of like I don't look after their sort of area. Um, just the long grass is really the bit I want to get rid of. So from here, yeah, that should hopefully it'll just look like this most of the time. Uh, it just makes it look a bit nicer, really. And we'll just get this last little bit. Here. Find right, the lamb. Not that the lamb really cares. And then we've got this one bit here. And we will turn that off and lift the deck. It's a shame we can't get through there. It would be a lot easier if we could. I'm hoping when I push the gate it doesn't spring back at me. Um, I will shut the gate just in case. don't really trust the sheep, especially around there. Um, not because I've had past experiences, just because he's heading towards the gate. Um, I don't really want to uh, herd him back in. Uh, not that I've got a sheep dog or anything, so all I have is a quad and myself. So, wouldn't really be much um, 
help. Um, because obviously I'd have to have a quad. Or I could spend hours catching them, um, which I don't want to do either. So, yeah. So hopefully at some point we can get some um, some grass made and some bales made um, and some silage and some wheat harvested. Um, and until then, um, I'll probably just uh, see if anyone wants any mowing done or something and make a bit of money off mowing or something like that. Um, and maybe make a vlog of it or something. Um, I have just little clips that... Uh, of me mowing and stuff. Um, maybe I could just do a two part one. So, like I said, mowing and raking and then bailing and wrapping for someone. Um, I'll see if they give permission. So, yeah, so it's. Uh, as you can see, it's lovely weather, so hopefully it'll stay like this. Um, and then we can get some jobs done. And uh, just nice to have a bit of sun, really. So yeah, that's it for this one. Bye for now.